Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Zapier webhooks integration to work with Simply Schedule Appointments, which is a WordPress booking plugin that helps you schedule appointments right on your WordPress business site. As you can see here, I have a business coaching site set up right now, and here is the booking calendar. It's for a consultation phone call, and what I want to do is use the webhooks feature in the plugin to automatically add new users who book from my calendar to my Google Contacts. So right now I have a Google Contacts page set up and I have a new label for website. So any new person who books on my website, I would like to add them here to my contacts. So to get started, I'm going to head over to my WordPress dashboard. And from here, I'm going to head down to the appointments page. And this is going to open up my Simply Schedule Appointments dashboard. And from here, we're going to head over to the settings page. Now, if we scroll all the way down, we have a special webhooks card. And all you would have to do is toggle it on like that and click on the edit button. Once inside the webhook settings page, you'll need to add a brand new webhook. So to start off, I'm going to name it. And next I want to select all the triggers for this webhook. So every time somebody books an appointment, I want this to be triggered and sent over to Zapier. So I'm just gonna select the top one, but you also have the option to send the trigger when an appointment is canceled or when somebody edits their information. And lastly, I just wanna make sure my consultation phone call appointment type is selected down here. So this is all I have to do to set up my webhook. The next step to fill in this URL field, I'll need to complete on the Zapier website. So here is my Zapier dashboard. First thing I wanna do is create a brand new Zap. And for the trigger, I want to make it the webhooks by Zapier. As you can see here, it is a premium feature, so you'll need one of the paid accounts in Zapier to use this. Right now, I am using their 14-day free trial, so you can always get started and try this out for free if you'd like to see how it would work for your work. So now that I have webhooks by Zapier selected as my trigger, I'm going to select the event, and I'm gonna use this catch hook event. Gonna press continue. So for the setup trigger, we can go ahead and skip this one. So you can click continue. And then this is the URL we'll need to collect. So we can go ahead and copy it. And once we have that copied to our clipboard, we can head back to the Simply Schedule Appointments setting screen. And this is the URL we'll need to enter here. All right, so now that we've added our URL, we'll go ahead and click save. Now that our webhook is saved, we're gonna want to go ahead and book an appointment to test the trigger back in Zapier. So let's book an appointment here from the dashboard. So now that an appointment is booked, I can head back to my Zapier screen and go ahead and click test trigger. All right, so now that we've booked that first appointment, it's automatically found our request with our webhook and all the information from the appointment. Um, for example, the date it was created, the start date, and it comes in different formats as well. So depending on how you would like to use it in the following action. So now that that's working correctly, we can go ahead and click continue. So now that we have our trigger set up and we want to go ahead and set up the following action. And as mentioned earlier, I would like to add any new user who books with my calendar to my Google contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and select Google contacts as the action. So now that I have Google contacts connected, I'm going to choose the event. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new contact and click continue. So for this next step, I'm going to sign into my Google account. All right. Now that I've signed in with my Google account, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then for all this information here, we're going to go ahead and use the webhook data that was sent over from our triggers. So if you click into one of these fields, you'll see that the catch hook and webhooks data is listed here as well. So if we go ahead and click show all options, I want to use the name that we collected from the appointment. So if you look closely here, this is the appointment customer information name. If we select that, that's what I would like to fill in my first name field with. And next thing I wanna do is fill in, in the company information. Um, in this case, I did collect the business name so I can add it here. And then lastly, I wanna enter their email. All right, and if I were to collect more customer information from my booking form, which I can easily add through the appointment type settings, I could fill in more information here depending on what I would like to collect from my customers. But for now, I'm fine with leaving it as just the name, email, and the business name. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. 
And lastly, let's go ahead and test the action. I do have one more follow-up step so that I can add my contact to this website group, but we can first test this out just to see how that works. Test and continue. Perfect, so here you can see a contact was sent to Google Contacts, but I do wanna go ahead and add an extra step. So same thing, we wanna do it in Google Contacts. We can add a contact to a group, continue, and then we're gonna want to choose the account. I've already signed in with my previous action. And then next thing we wanna do is choose the contact. And so we don't wanna use a specific static contact from this list. We wanna go ahead and use the custom one. And then we need to grab the ID from the previous action. So it's not going to be this top ID. It's going to be the one at the very, very, very bottom here under original ID. And we wanna make sure we're selecting the correct label here. So I want to go ahead and place them under the website label. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and click continue. So now we can go ahead and test and review this. Okay, so perfect. We have a message, a group contact was sent to Google Contacts. So now if I head back over here and refresh my page, I should see my brand new contact that I sent over from the plugin. So here we have the name, the email, and then the business name that we enter from the booking form. So with that, I wanna go ahead and publish this zap and then we can book another test appointment just so to verify that it is working from start to finish. So heading back to my test site, let's go ahead and refresh this page and let's book another test appointment. All right, so I have my confirmation ready. So now if I head back to Google Contacts and I refresh the page, I should have another contact here. As you can see, we had Zapier send in the contact immediately to my Google Contacts straight from my booking form. And if we head back to Zapier, oh, I left my Zap untitled, but as you can see here, we can get any other details from my Zap. For example, when the last time it was used, under task usage here, we have two already successfully run. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, this is an overview of how to set up the webhooks feature and simply schedule appointments and how you can create a Zapier booking system all on your WordPress website to connect to your entire workflow. And um, let us know if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. And thank you, I hope you guys have a nice day.